Good day to you all. Today we are going to look at common fractions. Important at common fractions to remember the numerator is at the top and the denominator is at the bottom. If we have a look, if we have a look here, I have a little fraction wall here on the right hand side with one hole at the top and then two halves and four quarters. So the numerator is how many parts you actually have. And the denominator is how many parts the whole has been divided into. So if we look here at this shaded half, I have two parts. It's been divided into two parts, but I actually only have one of them. So it is a half. If we look here at the quarter, how many Parts was it divided into? Four parts, but I only have one of them. Now, with common fractions, when we are looking at unit fractions, that is when our numerator, the one at the top, how many I have, is one, the bigger the number your denominator gets, the smaller your fraction will be. So, why can I say that? If it is a half, there's two parts. Do you see? It is much bigger than if I divide it into four parts. And quarters are bigger than eighths. Do you see? The more parts you have, the bigger the denominator at the bottom, the smaller your fractions will be. Now, when the numerator and your denominator is equal to each other, you will have one whole. It's divided into 12 parts and you have all 12 of them. 12 divided by 12 will give me 1. But when my numerator is a multiple, what is a multiple? It's the answer you will get when you multiply a number with another number. In this case, the denominator. So you divide the numerator, the one at the top, with the denominator to find how many holes. So can you see 36 is a multiple of 12 because I multiplied 12 with 3 to get 36. So how many holes? 3. I have 12 over 12, 12 over 12 and another 12 over 12 which is 36. So it is 3 whole numbers. If we have a lo another look here you can see it again. One whole is equal to 2 over 2, 3 over 3, 4 over 4, 5 over 5, 6 over 6, 8 over 8, 12 over 12, and so forth. As long as your denominator and your numerator is equal, you will have one whole. Here you can also see your fraction is getting smaller, as we already said. But we can also have a look at equivalent fractions. If we look at a half, it will be equal to two quarters. Do you see the line there? Oh, let's go back. Sorry about that. And it will also be equal to four eighths and six twelfths. That is all I have for you for today. Hope to see you next time when we will be looking at addition and subtraction of fractions. Stay safe and have a lovely day.